Hey, good morning there, YouTubers and fellow pickers. This is a little video, I guess we'll call it today, Tips and Tricks Tuesday. Um, this is what I've been doing to photograph my hats when I'm lazy and don't want to go to my studio. This is what I've been using here. Um, use a sheet of white paper, seamless white paper, so you don't have the wrinkles and stuff from a sheet or um, cloth. You can use uh, get a roll of butcher paper, you know, I say this is about three feet wide. Um, give you a good background there. I'm kind of lucky I have uh, rolls of nine foot wide white paper I use in the studio. You know, I just take a chunk of that and bring it home to clip here on my desk. This is also what you're going to use for uh, shooting your small objects on here. I'm only having uh, two lamps here. If you can get a third and put it up here and shoot towards the background and then bring your uh, subject a little bit away from the background so you don't, that way I'll get a nice white background, a little spillage on the the bottom here so you won't have as much shadows. Uh, and the sides here, it's kind of positioned to eliminate the shadows as best as I can, but you're still going to get some shadows there kitty's playing with my stand now so you can just use get these drop lights are like eight to ten dollars at uh, Home Depot Lowe's and don't want to shine directly but I just have a CFL on there 75 to 100 watt usage and if you can get them this one over here is one get a uh, cool white light um, lower on the spectrum otherwise you'll have a warm yellowish glow this one is a little bit warm light so I adjust this uh, later on just the temperature so when you shoot when I shoot my hats I try to get one from every angle so I'll start off you know this is the right side of the hat still showing the logo if you have a logo or something you may want to square it up a little more to get show that logo a little bit better but try to get a shot like this um, I may get a front-on shot to show the logo the best and I'll get a, another side shot now you're kind of showing your client, your customer, all the angles and showing there's no damage. And, you know, I would have cleaned the lint off uh, first. And then do the back shot down low here. Get a back shot of the back uh, logo and the strap to show what kind of strap it is. And sometimes you'll have a wording or a logo there on the, the strap. Then I will usually take it off my little head here. And sometimes I don't shoot with the head. Sometimes I'll just put it on there and shoot at different angles. It's up to you guys. Am I showing the hat? There we go. Then I'll get an inside shot showing that's clean inside. And I just noticed this had some writing on it. Damn it. Oh well. I'll have to note that. Or see if I can get it out. I don't know if I'll be able to get that out. But show the uh, band inside. Show how clean it is. Once you've cleaned it, this one needs some cleaning. Show the logo. So I'll probably do a shot kind of like that. Low enough to show the logo and the banding and everything. And that's it. Four to five shots, maybe six, to show your hat from all the different angles. And then uh, usually I, I shoot with my iPhone, so that's why I haven't been clicking. My video here is on the iPhone too well. If I'm not using my camera in the studio, I use the iPhone here. And then I do it one of two ways. Um, some people shoot with their iPad or their tablet. That way they can just list directly. And uh, I shoot with my iPhone and I use the, I'm an Apple fanboy. So I have the photo stream. So after a couple of minutes, all my photos I shoot with my iPhone will show up on my iPad. And then I use a Adobe Photoshop Express app which I believe is still free. And what I do is I go in and to do the color temperature and I'll lower the color temperature a bit to get rid of the uh, low, yellow tint you'll have when you use warm lights. And then maybe add a little bit of contrast to it. And then it's all uh, saved to my camera roll and it's ready for posting. Also, when I do shooting on the iPhone, I open my Dropbox app and it will automatically load all my photos to my Dropbox so they're available on my desktop computer 
So I can bring them into Photoshop and do the same thing, adjust the color temperature, and they're ready for listing for my desktop. But I get them all ready for my tablet, so because that way when I go to bed at night, I usually play around the iPad for an hour. I can list from my tablet, my iPad, wherever I'm at. I have a bunch of photos ready to go. So that's our tip for today on shooting hats, and also you can use it for shooting small objects. And I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.